He was one of the first great bebop vibraphonists and a contemporary of Milt Jackson's. He has a tremendous vitality and a powerful natural beat. Who is Terry Gibbs? Here, I'm big on bebop. He was born Julius Gabanko, October 13, 1924, in Brooklyn, New York. He later would be known as Terry Gibbs. His father and brother were both professional musicians. He started out on the xylophone, drums, and timpani. In 1936, he won the Major Bowles Amateur Hour Contest. For three years in the Army, he played the drums in military bands. When Gibbs got back to New York, he worked with Bill Durango. He then recorded with his close friend Tiny Khan and Aaron Sachs Quintet in 1946. In June of 1946, he found himself with a Tommy Dorsey band, but it only lasted one night. Gibbs found all the swing charts to be too tame and unchallenging. He then joined up with Chubby Jackson in 1947, which also included a Swedish tour. He was with Buddy Rich in 48, and then for a year with Woody Herman. He left Woody Herman to form his own band. Then in 1950, he started a sextet with Louis Belson and Charlie Shavers. In 1952, while performing at the Beehive Club in Detroit, Terry discovered a female pianist named Terry Pollard that he said was the first female he had ever heard that could swing that hard. They toured off and on from 1952 to 1960. Thereafter, he was a regular in 53 to 54 on NBC's Judge For Yourself. He formed another band and did the Mel Torme TV show. In 1951, he went with Benny Goodman. In the late 50s, he appeared on NBC's The Steve Allen Show, in which he was regularly playing lively vibraphone duets with the entertainer and composer. Gibbs moved from New York to California in 1958, and he began planning for his next big band album. In early 1959, he booked extended residencies at two Los Angeles nightclubs, the Seville and the Sundown for what became known as the Dream Band. The band usually played on Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday night when the cream of the Hollywood jazz and studio musicians would be available. The core band, which was already playing as Jazz Wave Big Band at the Sundown, always remained stable, with Mel Lewis holding down the drum chair. New arrangements were commissioned from Bill Holman, Marty Page, Med Flory, Manny Album, and Al Kong, among others, to feature Gibbs vibes in front of the band. The band released four albums from 1959 to 1961. He worked frequently for Steve Allen as musical director through the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Led the house band on Regis Philbin's TV show, writing all the original music in 1964. Spent his time playing for TV in the 1970s. In 1980, he co-led a group intermittently with Buddy DeFranco. He won the Downbeat New Star Big Band Award in 1962 and various other awards as a vibus, including six times Downbeat and Metronome. In 1997, he appeared on Steve Allen's 75th birthday celebration on PBS. Terry Gibbs' inspiration comes from Dizzy Gillespie and Charlie Parker. He has recorded prolifically and continues to inspire musicians with his distinctive sound and musical creativity. Terry Gibbs, an original. Be bopper.